Welcome in, friends. I'm Dave with Guitar Tricks, and today we'll be learning three super easy rock licks. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell. And while you're at it, hit that like button. It would really help out. Now back to the lesson. All these rock licks are going to be in the key of D minor, and specifically the D minor pentatonic for the first one. Okay, you're familiar with the 10th fret position of pattern one. Okay, if you're not, you should work on that one, get familiar with it. Okay, the first rock lick we're gonna do is this. Okay, it's a nice shreddy one, but let's break it down slow for you. Okay, it's 10th, fret on the first string with your index finger, 13 with your third finger. We're gonna start with a downstroke. In fact, we're gonna do downstrokes on everything in this lick. Okay, downstroke on the 13th fret, followed by a pull off. Second string, same idea. Okay, then the next part of the lick, we're gonna do two pull offs on the first string, and then one on the second. And then the third part of the lick, same thing, two pull offs on the first string and then one on the second. So all together, you got a single pull off on the first, two on the first, two on the first, and then we do it again. And then we wanna end it melodically or musically. Okay, so we're gonna end on the root note, which is D, but to get more of a rock kind of cool ending, we're gonna bend the second string 13th fret up a whole step to that D rather than just playing the D, okay, like this. And if you can throw in for uh, some spice, a little vibrato, that adds a nice touch to it. The second rock lick is gonna also use the D minor pentatonic 10th position, but we're gonna add the first string 12th fret, a new note added to it. So it's really the pentatonic plus one more note. Okay, what we're gonna do on this lick, and we play it for you here, it goes. Or you could even do it twice. Okay, it starts with the first string, 13th fret, pull off to 10th fret. And then we roll our index finger over to the second string, 10th fret. Okay, you might wanna bar your finger on that, but don't let it ring, because we don't want this. Okay, it gets kind of noisy. So you got a couple options there. We're gonna either roll the index finger, okay, or you can go, and then when I go to the second string, I kind of roll over to it, and then back to the first string, I touch the second string with the side of my picking hand thumb, okay? That's an option you can also do. The second part of the lick is the 15th fret on the first string. Big stretch with your pinky. Pull off from that to the 10th fret, like this. Okay, and then we go back to the 13th fret, and then the 12th fret with your middle finger. So it's a kind of a four section lick. We got 13 pull off, 15, 13, 12. So all together, maybe do it a couple times if you like. And then I end it with the root note, 10th fret first string, followed by the bend on the second string, 13th fret. A little vibrato. This third rock lick, we're gonna be adding in a couple other notes to the D minor pentatonic pattern, okay? The first string is gonna be 13, 12, and 10. Second string, we're gonna add 12 on the second string as well. Third string, we're gonna add 13 on the third string. Okay, so if you're thinking about your theory, that 12 on the first string is their second degree, 12 on the second string is the sixth degree of the D minor scale, and then that 13th fret on the third string, that's the good old fashioned blues note, okay? But what's neat about this idea here is that we're gonna have a symmetrical pattern, the same three frets, same three fingers on all strings. And then we'll end on root note 12th fret on string four. Rather than bending up to a high note, we're gonna end on that lower note. So the lick goes like this. OK, 
Okay, what we're doing is picking the first note four times with alternate picking. And then pulling off to 12, pulling off to one, or 10th fret. So we're going. Second string, same thing. Third string, same thing. And on the root note. You could even do it going back up. Or back and forth. All right, I hope this gave you some new ideas, and I'll see you in the next one. What other tips would you like to see here on this channel? Leave a comment and let me know. And be sure to check out guitartricks.com for more in-depth step-by-step lessons.